I'm Dolores Treviso and I teach in the sociology department. Sociology is a study of the political, sociology is a study of economic um, relations and economic dynamics, it's the study of, of you know, groups, it's a study of communities. I am a political sociologist, so uh, next spring I'm teaching political sociology. Uh, and I teach social movements. I love those two classes. Um, they're very theoretical. So those are the classes I enjoy the most. I especially uh, I like my social movements class because I, you know, I love telling stories about how uh, relatively powerless people organize to demand change and usually, you know, kind of succeed. So those those are, are great. You know, those are stories that, that students like to, to hear about. So I just finished an article on uh, the origins of the human rights movement in Mexico. Most of my research is on protest movements in Mexico. So I the the piece I just submitted yesterday actually is a piece on on the history of the human rights movements. Uh, one of the groups has captivated my my mind. It's a it's a group of, of middle-aged uh, women whose whose sons, mostly sons, but some daughters, uh, were disappeared during Mexico's dirty war in the 1970s. And so these women, they had been housewives. They'd been pretty political. Uh, they found themselves, um, you know, kind of knocking on doors of police stations, you know, kind of trying to figure out what happened to their, their, their children, the adult children in some instances, and then there they kind of discovered one another that there were other women like themselves looking for their missing children. So, yeah, so that's what I, I've been working on. Um, other things that I've worked on, Professor Lopez and I, Lopez in the Econ Department, um, we worked with a group of students, we sent them out into the field of Los Angeles and we uh, were having the students collect survey data on immigrant entrepreneurs. So we, we, tell, we, we tell happy stories too of like immigrants who arrive with nothing in their pockets and they start up these little tiny businesses and, and um, you know, kind of get to live out the American dream in some way. The sociology department um, here at Oxy really brands itself on Maybe that's too strong a word, but but we really um, offer something that I'm not sure other sociology departments elsewhere offer, and that is a combination of, of having really high standards for our students at other universities, like at UC Riverside. I was just talking to their theory professor, someone who's actually really well known, and he offers a textbook, and I have my students read the original materials. Every single member of the sociology department is committed to treating our, our undergraduates as if they are graduate students, but then also recognizing that they're young people, and so we we don't we don't have a sink or swim attitude. We say, okay, we know this is really hard. We get it. So let's let's do this together, and then we do. And the kids, you know, I you know my sense of it is that the kids always feel like, wow, they really accomplished something that they got through a gauntlet or something. So I think that's what sociology here has to offer.